Hey cool cats, how's it going? It's uh, Jeff, back for another video. And this is another installment in the Blake Records uh, extravaganza. I believe this is number five. And this one is uh, exclusively jazz records. Um, I just blaked a bunch of my jazz, so I just wanted to share them real quick. Um, I think a lot of them actually I've never shown before, but uh, some of them I, I have. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna dive right in. Um, start with <laughs> probably my favorite jazz record of all time, Miles Davis' Bitches Brew. Just an incredible, incredible testament to what funk, fusion, and jazz can do. Another one, Big Fun. Not many people, well, I shouldn't say not many people know about it, because a lot of people know about it, but uh, I didn't really know about it, I guess I should say, but uh, I'm glad I do now. Holy shit, it's, it's awesome. It's really, really great record. Miles Davis is Big Fun. And uh, on the corner, I got this a while back uh, on eBay for a pretty good price, it was only 10 bucks. So, yeah. Really amazing record. Another favorite of mine in the jazz spectrum is Hank Mobley, a caddy for daddy on the Blue Note reissue. John Handy, oh man, this guy cooks. This is just a fantastic record. Especially the really long track. Uh, oh, maybe it's not this album, it's a different John Handy that, that will be coming up. This one here is recorded uh, live at the Monterey Jazz Festival. Sonny Rollins, this is an incredible record too. Man in Jazz, our man in jazz. Sonny Rollins, what can you say about him? Uh, Oscar Peterson 6 at the Montreux Jazz. It's uh, Joe Pass on guitar. Let's see, Joe Pass on guitar, Milt Jackson on vibes, Oscar Peterson on piano, Tug Steelman's on harmonica, Niels Pedersen on bass, and Louis Belson on drums. Really incredible record. Great stuff. Oh, and uh, by the way, we're listening to in the background this uh, compilation, Black Jazz Records compilation, the best of, put out by Soul Jazz at Universal Sound. Listen to the first track by uh, by The Awakening, Mode for DD. Albert Ayler. Oh man, this is really great free jazz stuff with Don Cherry, Gary Peacock, and Sonny Murray. Really cool stuff on Arista Freedom. John Coltrane, Training In. He's definitely an artist you could just, just like Miles Davis, you can just dive in and just get immersed, completely immersed in the way in which he creates his music over time. This one here, the sleeve is in pretty bad shape, but uh, the records are just mint. So it's Jimmy, Jimmy Griffin, John Coltrane, and Hank Mobley on the blue. Uh, Blue Note reissue series. Cool, really great stuff too. Uh, Johnny Light, Johnny Johnny Little, uh, I believe. This is a, he's a vibes player. This is okay, it's not too bad. Oh, oh, this one here is just incredible. Jack Johnson, probably, well it's hard to say. It's hard to pick one favorite Miles Davis record. But this is definitely, this is definitely one of them. No doubt about it. This is an original press, really, really old uh, U.S. press of Gene Krupa, uh, Lionel Hampton, and Teddy Wilson on, on Verve, the Clef series. I think it, maybe it's not original press if it's Clef series. I don't know. Uh, this is really nice too. This is a uh, this is a copy released in the Netherlands of uh, Cannonball Adderley's early great recordings. Blake. Blake. Jimmy Smith. Organ grinder swing. If there's anything Jimmy Smith, I'll pick it up. I'll even take a chance that it's cheesy just because I like Jimmy Smith a lot. With Hammond. Uh, another fantastic record, Miles Davis' Sketches of Spain. Recorded with, yeah, arranged and conducted with Gil Evans. Great stuff. Precursor to what free jazz became, The Shape of Jazz to Come by Ornette Coleman on Atlantic, a must-have. A monster of a record. Herbie Hancock's Monster. Just great funk, fusion funk kind of thing. Sonny Stitt, 
Junior Mance and George de Vivier and uh, Jimmy Cobb, the last skit sections. This is on, what is this on? Oh, well, it's on Muse Recordings. We Three, with Roy Haynes, Phineas Newborn, and Paul Chambers. This is on uh, Fantasy. Oh. Ron Carter, Parade. I can't remember what this sounds like, actually. I'm going to have to spin this one again. And Chick Corea, with Anthony, Anthony Braxton, and Dave Holland, and Barry Alstrol. This is also, it's really blurry, that one. But it's called uh, Circulus on the Blue Note Jazz Reissue Classics. Hey, Foster. Jimmy Smith swings alone with Stranger in Paradise. Oh man, one of my favorite jazz guitarists, uh, Barney Kessel, guitar off. Um, it's modern, it swings, it's vibrant on Camden, RCA. Let's roll back. This, this is a killer, killer record too. Workout, Hank Mobley. I think David uh, McSopey, I think you had this, and I think you agree with me. This is just a killer record. This is really great too. I picked this up pretty cheap. This is Nexus for Duo, John Clemmer, and Carl, Carl Burnett and Bob Magnuson. Double LP on uh, Novus, Arista. This is an original press too, Ella and Louie. I love this record. This is a great Sunday afternoon record. Just put it on. Just all these classics like uh, Can't We Be Friends, Isn't This a Lovely Day. Oh man, it's just good stuff. Another Hank Mobley. Uh, this one is called uh, Blue Note 560. It's just called Hank. But anything Hank Mobley is going to cook. And this really cooks. I'm just going to put these on the floor. Hopefully I don't have another record avalanche. One thing I noticed with the Blakes, like I like to lean. I lean my records a lot. And over time, they kind of puff out. The air kind of just goes when they fall. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, so it's probably one of the coolest jazz covers ever is this one by Bill, Ev Bill Evans and Jim Hall, Undercurrent. I love this photograph. It's just amazing. And it looks so stunning in a Blake. There you go, Undercurrent. This is a great record. Oh, oh. Uh, an awesome pairing of two greats in the jazz spectrum is uh, Jimmy Smith and Wes Montgomery eating a sandwich together. That's all they do. This is, the whole record is just the sounds of them eating a sandwich. <laughs> oh, this is a, one of the Impulse records I forgot to show from last time. It's uh, Charles Mingus' uh, The Great Moments With on Impulse, double LP set. Really looks great in a Blake also. Anything Herbie Hancock I'll usually pick up too. This is Manchild. See that like I love these sleeves. But the little pet peeve of mine is if they get shit if they get bent at all, they end up staying like that. That's I mean I I know they should be all stacked into the shelves and stuff, but I I tend to like have little stacks everywhere and if they get like that it's hard to it's hard to bend them back but I love these sleeves though don't get me wrong Buddy Rich Lionel Hampton met him boy what's this called oh transition great stuff Jazz Samba Stan Getz and Charlie Bird classic on Verve Mingus Dynasty A little damage in the back not too bad the incredible Jimmy Smith got my mojo working. I think this one's really good, actually. I got a couple that are kind of stinkers, but not, not the greatest, anyways. Another great pairing of two jazz greats, Thelonious Monk and John Coltrane. Man, oh, I love this stuff so much. Another Hank Mobley. I think I have three or four Hank Mobley records. Blue Note. This one's called Hank Mobley. Oh, he's really creative. <laughs> this is, I believe, a, a, an original too, the Ebulent Mr. Gillespie on Verve. 
can't go wrong with Dizzy. I love the cover of this one. Teddy Buckner band. I love how he's just experimenting with the sound of his trumpet with the glass. I love this. In concert at the Dixieland Jubilee. This is an original press too. Um, from I don't know how long ago. It's pretty old. Though. It looks great. I love the I love it in the Blake. This this is great too. I love Bill Doggett. This is a Honky Tonk of Oregon. This is great stuff, especially uh, Honky Tonk Part One and then Honky Tonk Part Two that opens each each side of the record. An amazing jazz guitarist, probably one of the first to go electric. <laughs> so. Um, Bob Dylan might have learned a little bit from Charlie Christian. This is the Solo Flight double LP set on uh, released in 1972 on CBS. Modern Jazz Quartet. This is an original also. <clears throat> Looks great in the Blake. The Art Ensemble of Chicago, Urban Bushman. This is fantastic. This is a double LP set on ECM. Zoot Sims. One that I forgot to obviously close. Uh, yeah, Zoot Sims, Quartets. Love the cover of this one too. This is an original on Prestige. Polonius Monk, Criss Cross. Oh, what a killer record this is too. This guy just brings the piano to life. Ornette Coleman, double, uh, double record set, Science Fiction and Skies of America. Really cool sort of experimental record by Ornette Coleman. Just gonna put these on the floor. We only have about 15 records more. Oh, 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 oh. Record avalanches. Oh my goodness. Alright, so coming to one of my favorite. <laughs> I'll say that for every jazz artist I own on record, but. This is definitely one of my favorites, is uh, uh, Anthony Braxton. I did a video on him a while back, if you wanted to check it out, just go back in my catalog of videos, I guess. This is self-titled, like, oh no, it's Donna Lee. Donna Lee is Charlie Carpenter. So, he does, uh, yeah, starts that on side A. This is a uh, European press. Anthony Braxton in the tradition where he does another Parker tune ornithology. Uh, Billy Strayhorn, um, Charles Mingus cover. Really cool stuff in the tradition on uh, Inner City. Another Inner City, uh, this is In the Tradition Volume 2 with Anthony Braxton. Well, you can see the uh, other artists that play with them. They look great in the Blake well, Just love it. And here's the back. Anthony Braxton, alto saxophone improvisations from 1979. Great stuff. Anthony Braxton, this is probably one of my favorites by him actually, live in New York in the fall of 1974. That's on uh, Arista. Great, a fantastic uh, Mingus record called Oh Yeah. This is a reissue on Atlantic. Another Anthony Braxton for Trio. This is on Inner City 2, I believe. Oh no, Arista. This is the one that I was talking about earlier uh, that by uh, John Handy. There's a track on here called... Oh, maybe it isn't. Shit. What album is it on? Anyway, this is a good album. The, whole, the song I'm thinking about is The Whole Side, but it's not Tears of Ole Miss, Anatomy of a Riot. Anyway, maybe, maybe it's still to come. Oscar Peterson and Dizzy Gillespie, another pairing of jazz greats on Pablo, late in their career. Another Anthony Braxton, this time on Affinity. Oscar Peterson, uh, Oscar Peterson Quartet. I think this is an original, actually. I can't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Miles Davis, the first time he went to uh, Europe, playing in Paris uh, in 1949, opened his eyes to how uh, black musicians are respected over there and they weren't respected in America. Cool stuff. Kenny Gill, 
I forget what this sounds like. I think it's good though. Look who, look who it is. <laughs> Charlie, what are you doing? Say hi. Anyway, I'll have to listen to this again, but I think it's really good. I think it look, looks psychedelic, eh? And last record is a Italian press of Ornette Coleman's Town Hall 1962. So there's, there's a fair amount of some of my best jazz records, Blaked. Hope you enjoyed. It's a 15 minute long video. I apologize for that. Hopefully it's not too, too long. And I'll be back with another one. Maybe not tonight, maybe tomorrow, but uh, thanks for watching everybody.